guys, we can see the train. I am so excited. It's no secret, I've wanted to do this for ages, ever since I was a little kid. I'm a little bit of a train geek, I've got to admit. So this is the first time we're ever taking a sleeper and we can't wait. Let's get on board. We arrived at Inverness train station about two hours before departure. Because we had club class tickets, we had access to the first class lounge. The lounge is small but cosy and it has some really cool artwork. There's a bathroom including a full shower. We sat back and enjoyed a lovely cup of tea and some Scottish shortbread. Then it was finally time to board. We were really excited. Hi travellers, we're here at Inverness station and we're super excited because we're going to be taking the Caledonian sleeper from Inverness all the way down to London. So the entire length of the British Isle. It, I'm so excited. The sleeper takes about 12 hours and we've booked ourselves into a club cabin. So we're going to show you all around the train and show what it's like to take a sleeper in the UK. Hello guys, welcome to our cabin here on the Caledonian Sleeper. Come on in. We're in a club suite. Ooh, nine. I'm still getting used to how small these cabins are. We've been on many cruise cabins, but never anything this small. So uh, yeah, this is a club cabin and it's a double one. If you have a standard cabin, they're exactly the same, except they don't have a bathroom, but they're exactly the same on the inside here. So should we have a look around? Let's take a look. So we've got the lower bed um, on here. You have a little welcome uh, bag here. We'll have a look at that in a second. And then you've also got the upper bunk as well. Obviously there's two of us. Uh, we've got a sink over here and it's also got a mirror and a little blind so you can see outside. It's a bit dark at the moment, unfortunately, but I imagine in the morning they're gonna get some really nice views out of there. Yep, so we've got a little sink here as well, as well as a bathroom, which we'll show you in a second. Little, uh, dustbin under here, litter bin, and then also in here is supposed to be a tray, but it's gone. It's missing. It's actually missing. Oh no. Oh no. That sucks. There is usually a tray you have to pull out. I wonder if they've taken them away because of COVID or where we we're just missing a tray. Who knows? Oh well. Oh well. But yeah, you get hot and cold water in the tap here. Uh, and then this is our little key as well for the cabin. It's just like a hotel room key. You tap in, you tap out. It's exactly like a hotel. But storage, okay. So these are small cabins. So you've got hooks here with uh, coat hangers and we've put our coats on here, but you might want to hang a suit or a dress or something. There's also more hooks behind the door as well. And then underneath the bed, there is storage, but it's, there's not a load of storage. So. I mean, we've got a cabin bag and a sort of half suitcase under there and it's totally full. But if you did have any bigger bags, you can have them store them for you at the front of the train. But obviously it means you can't use them while you're on the train and you'll get them back at the end of the journey. So we wanted to keep all our stuff with us. So yeah, we've just shoved everything under there um, and then we'll have bags as well, which have just popped away of in the bathroom for now. And we'll just have to have them on the floor. Right, so let's check out the beds. So these are really comfortable. Uh, you've got a nice thick duvet, a nice thick mattress, I should say, and a big thick duvet as well. Uh, and then, like I said earlier, we've got these little goodie bags. So should we have a look what's inside? Right. So we have uh, earplugs and eye mask, a little bottle of water, uh, another earplugs and eye mask. They give us two. And then some toiletries. So we've got hand and body lotion, hand and body wash and conditioning shampoo. The little toiletry is nice. And then we also have a pillow spray. That's very posh, isn't it? A pillow spray. Love it. I love it. Spray your pillow and then when we're going out tomorrow, Ben, bit of a spritz. Nice and fresh. Do us nice and fresh. 
So let's have a look what's in each cabin, right? The first thing we've noticed is there is loads of USB chargers, which is awesome. So you've got two USB chargers here and there's another one on the other side for the lower bunk as well. Um, on here, you've got the window light, which turns on now off the window light. Uh, and then there's two British plugs as well. And then there's a host call. So make sure in the night you don't press the wrong one because otherwise you'll have somebody knocking on your door when you're trying to maybe turn the window light on. And then on the other side of the bed, there's another control panel, which we'll show you in a sec. <sighs> right, and here on the other side, we had to do a little switcheroo, is um, a temperature control, so you can have it hot or cold, another USB charger, and then there's a light here as well, like a little reading light, um, as well as the lights for the main room, so you can actually dim them if you want it, so if you wanted a bit of a uh, mood light in. Ooh la la. Ooh la la, if you wanted to get a little bit romantic on the night, um, or you can just turn it off altogether like so. And there's a lovely big mirror there as well. Yeah, it's a lovely full length mirror behind the door. Like I said, there's more hooks behind the door as well and the mirror on the other side. And then this down here is, it's sort of like a seat. So if you wanted to sit during the day, you can sit while you're traveling rather than laying down. It's got a little back support. Um, like we said, this is, uh, we've got it set up as a twin. If you did want a solo cabin, they're exactly the same, but the bed, the upper bed is popped away. So the person in the upper bunk has a similar panel where they can control the light, the, uh, they have a charger, and they can also control the main lights, but they can't control the uh, heating. Should we take a look at the bathroom? Because guys, we have our own private bathroom. Let's go. And then we have our ensuite. Could you believe it, guys? A private ensuite on a sleeper train. This is really cool. So not all the cabins have this. It's only the club cabins and the first class cabins. In here, you have a toilet, which is here, and a shower. And the shower is just above the toilet. So you have to lift this to reveal the toilet. And you've got your toilet paper there as well. And then you pop it down and it's a seat as well for when you're showering if the train is moving you don't want to be like flailing around i guess so you can remove the shower and you can sit here and have a nice little shower as well nice, isn't it? it's nice it's nice shower on a train shower train. on a train i'm so excited just to Me have a shower too. on a train uh, and then in here you also have all your linens so your towels and things they'll be all left in a little green bag for you there but yeah it's it's essentially like a wet room we've had seen similar things on like ferries and stuff um but do you know what it is small but it's very compact and it's well laid out for a, a one night isn't it and i'm six foot two and there's plenty of room in the bed yeah ben's six foot two and he fits in the bed really really well David sat on the toilet. And so. I'm about to talk about food, which is a bit weird. Uh, but <laughs> Caledonian Sleeper already let us know uh, that the uh, there'll be no food or drink services on board, except if you've got a breakfast in the morning. So they actually said to bring food and drink on board with you. So we get... We popped to Morrison's next door and got lots of snacks, got water, things like that. So make sure that you do, particularly if you want water and things, bring it on board with you because there's no food and drink service at the moment. Right, I need to do my business now, so... Yeah. Well, hello from the top bed on my boudoir on a train. As you can see, it's actually quite big. I'm six foot two and I can lay down. Yeah, vertically, my head is touching the, 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 the top and my feet are touching the bottom. So I reckon it's exactly six foot two. But yeah, it's pretty comfortable, nice mattress, big blanket. It is absolutely roasting in here. We've got the air conditioning on maximum, but it's still boiling, so I need to work that out. Literally sweating, especially up here at top. It's actually cooler downstairs. But yeah, really comfortable, looking forward to a good night's sleep. We arrive into London quite early, don't we, at like half seven, eight o'clock in the morning? Something like that. And they're bringing us breakfast at half seven as well, which as David said earlier on, it's just a bacon bap. So a bacon sandwich, really. That's it. Oh, we tried going to the club cabin, which is actually completely uh, closed. A staff member stopped us and said it's been used as their bubble. Staff bubble. I'm not sure why there's so many staff on board, actually, because there's no there's no um, catering on board at all. Yeah, nobody's checked us in as well. Oh, well, cool. Nobody's checked us in. Nobody's showed us the room either, which apparently is normal, but... We're not silly, we can figure it out ourselves, can't we? So if you think these trains look pretty cool and new, it's because they actually are. They were introduced in 2019, but it wasn't all smooth entry. Uh, they were known for their technical problems, having issues and actually delayed their entry. They were built by CAF uh, in Spain, 
And I was reading online, apparently, in the real community, they're known as CAF because they are crap as fuck. Take that what you will. <laughs> but most of the kinks seem to be ironed out now and they've been running in regular service for quite a while now. So I think, I think they're all okay. But uh, yeah, they're still looking really good and really new. If you do want to take the sleeper, these ones run from Aberdeen, Inverness and Fort William. And you can also pick them up from Glasgow and uh, Edinburgh all the way down to London. And then obviously you can go in the reverse. But it's not the only sleeper train in the UK. This is the Caledonia sleeper. There's also the Night Riviera sleeper, which goes from London to the West Country, right all the way down to Cornwall. And they're the only two sleepers left in the UK, unfortunately. But we love it. And uh, I don't think it'll be our last sleeper experience. Right, we're all ready for bed now. We just stopped again and I don't know where it was and my phone's down there and I really can't be bothered to get out of bed and go and get it. That's the problem with the top bunk. Uh, but yeah, I'm tired. So we're gonna go and see you tomorrow, bright and early, and we'll be arriving in London. I can't wait. So that's it for us tonight and we'll see you tomorrow. Night night. Shall I turn the lights off? Good night. Oh my god, that light is so bright. Morning. Oh, good morning. It's it's really loud. Like you feel like every kink of the track. Yeah, the mattresses are really. The loud mattresses loud. are really hard. But I can't. I think I slept okay. I don't know. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? It's really like dis disorientated, distant. What's that word? Disorientated. It is a little bit disorient, and I didn't have my phone as well, so I didn't know what time it was. Make sure it's what we got in the breakfast bag. Got a bacon butty. Bacon sandwich. Orange Tropicana. Cheese. A poppy seed muffin, I think. It's a bit of a strange selection of muffin, isn't it? Ben did bring backup muffins though, just in case they were rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's your breakfast, folks. How was your shower, David? That was actually surprisingly good. It was really hot as well. It kind of reminded me of, um, do you know when you go to the swimming pool? You have to keep pressing the button to get the shower to go. But it's actually a really good shower. Like, I feel really refreshed. Did you? It, it was hot, wasn't it? Like, it wasn't cold or... Yeah. And it was, it was the pressure was okay. I mean, you're not, it's not gonna be the same you're gonna get in a hotel, but you are on a train. They're in London. That went so quick. Literally, I was brushing my teeth and then I saw the tube. What an awesome trip we've had on the Caledonian sleeper down to London. It's such a great way to travel. I feel really refreshed actually, and I've really enjoyed it. I can't wait to do another sleeper again. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and thank you so much to all of our patrons. That's it till next time. Happy cruising.